I spent 25 years in my career working for the Pinellas County Metropolitan Planning Organization, for the Hillsborough County Metropolitan Planning Organization, for the Florida Department of Transportation, and a whole host of local government clients uh, such as Pinellas County, the City of St. Petersburg, Torrington Springs. And I wanted them to understand that the analysis that I would do would be an independent analysis. It would be an objective technical analysis using the best available valid data, the most current available data, to address this complex problem. And it's really a complex problem to think about how do you identify 30 minute travel time to each of these four sites when you are looking at the origin and the decisions that every individual in this room might make and what influences your decision. There's a lot of complex factors that we have to take into account. And we also had to look at not only an existing condition, but this is a plan for the future. This is a plan to help this area and this region grow and to allow the fans who are very small now to take their kids to the game in the future. So we had to do not only the existing conditions analysis, but we had to look at the future horizon here. So the way we approached this was we used the Tampa Bay Regional Planning Model, which is the same tool that is used to make or help make the transportation investment decisions that Pinellas County, Hillsborough County, the Florida Department of Transportation make uh, in their long-range transportation plan. So we use the data and analysis that form the basis of the adopted long-range transportation plans for the counties. That model has a base year of 2006 based on existing population and employment as of that time. The model goes through an expensive two to three year development effort. The Department of Transportation spends upwards of several hundred thousand dollars to develop this model. So it can be used to help make informed transportation decisions in this region. It also accounts for people traveling from Pasco County, Hernando County, Citrus County, and even influences from Polk, Manatee, and Sarasota County as part of that. So we felt this was the best valid available tool to use. As we went through this analysis, we looked at each site and we tried to figure out from that analysis, how do we draw that travel market, that 30 minute drive time, and consider all the geographic origins that might draw people to not only downtown St. Petersburg and the Carolina site, but also those comparable sites in Hillsborough County. We also then uh, looked at projections to the year 2035. And we were able to model a PM peak hour congested drive time condition for each of those sites. And we drew uh, essentially a contour map, a travel uh, market. And that travel market, we then were able to capture the population of households in that area. Now, I mentioned the base year for this was 2006. We wanted to update that information, so we used the latest available data from 2009, the same data that was developed for the 2006 model, uh, and, and repopulated that base year data. The 2035 data to get the travel time, that 30 minute travel time, has been poured over extensively by local government planners, uh, land use planners in Hillsborough County and Pinellas County and other jurisdictions to make sure their, their assumptions, their expectations were reflected in as we did that analysis, we then looked at uh, how much growth is likely to happen by 2035. Not as much in Pinellas County, maybe a little more in Hillsborough County, but how do you capture that drive time? And what we found in that analysis was that when you factor in the financially feasible transportation projects through 2035, that based on all the expected revenue streams that are coming to this area, uh, that the Carolina site ends up with a much more robust and better performing regional transportation network uh, that eliminates many of those pinch points of congestion that you find and will continue to find in the Hillsborough County side of the future. 